Cora TV. The world is thinking. Anyway, just to recap finally, Maisonnier and his reputation, um, maybe uncharacteristically for someone who was so popular with the um, buyers of paintings and also the, uh, the public who went in to the galleries and museums, uh, Maisonnier was also popular with critics. He got superlative acclaim from virtually every art critic in France um, and, and also from many other painters. Eugène Delacroix, who um, you may well know, one of the great figures in 19th century art, was a friend of Meissonnier, and he said that Meissonnier was one of the incontestable masters of our epoch. And he, in conversation with Baudelaire, Delacroix said, of all of us painting today, all of us will be forgotten, um, but Meissonnier will be remembered. Uh, the leading art critic in France, Théophile Gautier, um, wrote that Meissonnier was someone whose presence was assured in the museums of the future. Um, he was someone who, who could rest on his laurels for centuries to come. And at Maisonnier's death in 1891, the obituaries declared him the greatest painter of the 19th century. And um, Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany, where Maisonnier was also extremely popular, um, called him one of the greatest glories of the entire world. So obviously all of the, this enormous praise heaped on him uh, well, maybe I should ask, had anyone heard of Meissonnier before this evening? The, and uh, I saw one hand up. Is it, are you a Napoleonic scholar? Or? He, some, some people know, uh, someone told me the, um, war, the Penguin War and Peace has the campaign of France on the cover. And if you go to the great Napoleon website, napoleon.org, Meissonnier is very well represented there. But beyond that, his reputation um, it has completely collapsed. The sad fate of Maisonnier is that within a decade or two of his death, his prices, um, his prices disappeared, his, and he was really airbrushed out of the history of French art. Um, in the 1940s, late 1940s, a very good art um, critic named Lionel Venturi wrote a two-volume history of 19th century French art and made no mention of Meissonnier. He appears nowhere in it. That would have been unthinkable 50 years earlier that the man celebrated as the greatest painter of the 19th century, if not possibly of all time, was written out of the history of, of art. Things got even worse for Meissonnier as the decades went on. And in 1964, a marble statue that was carved in the 1890s after his death and placed in the Louvre was removed feet first from the Louvre on orders of André Malraux, the arts minister in, in Charles de Gaulle's government, simply because the French artistic establishment was so appalled that this man um, had, had such an exalted reputation. He was not someone that they wanted to be celebrating. In the 1980s, a French art critic began agitating for the incineration of Meissonnier's canvases. He said, uh, which is a bit disturbing, I'm not sure we should burn works of art just because we don't like the, the artist or the, the works themselves. Um, in any case, this injunction uh, was redundant because Meissonnier's works really were not on show in French public museums at that time. Most of them were gathering dust in storerooms and never really saw the light of day.